Greetings, uh, Jim AG six IF out here in the mobile uh, FT nine ninety one here in the mobile, along with my uh, my ebook. Nice thing about this setup is the USB cable can connect directly to the back of the nine ninety one. So uh, while that's really cool and everything, you don't need a, a separate sound card interface like a signal link or a sound card, a direct sound card interface. There's a couple things you have to do to get it set up. WSJTX is what I got pulled up here. Um, when you plug this in, it's going to give you a USB 0 and a USB 1. I'm running Linux here. You get two COM ports on a Windows PC. There's some special drivers, but in Linux it just works. Uh, a couple things you want to do. You want to enable CAT. And since the 991 doesn't exist as a rig yet, the uh, FT2000 works pretty good. Um, it doesn't have every feature and function, but it, it works enough to, to play. So what I like to do with my setup here is my ebook is connected to my mesh network here in the car and uh, then I can access this remotely from in the shack so I can actually operate the car radio from inside the shack which is cool you can do side by sides and that's how I do the side by side uh, take a look so um, anyway what you want to do on the 991 is um, in the mode screen let me go back here I'll show you Go to mode. Um, if you select data USB upper sideband, there's a section in the menu that allows you to select the input to the back of the radio for USB. While you can still have your microphone for sideband right here, sideband and data uh, sideband. So that lets you uh, grab the mic if you're on the USB mode and grab the computer if you're on data USB. Alright, um, when I first selected data USB it was very narrow and it just had a little tiny notch. So uh, I looked around online there was a bunch of stuff none of it was correct but um, I'll tell you how to get how to fix that. Go to um, go to menu the short press. I'm sorry, short press on function. Um, and right here is the width. So I'm selecting that and then using my knob here, my multifunction knob, I can narrow that down. And that's what we had initially out of the box. Very annoying. That's what it looks like in the waterfall here. See that narrow signal? So you want to open that up, and the way you do that is select the width, uh, function, and just roll the knob. There we go. Um, all right, so that was uh, that stumped me a little bit at first. Okay, so into the menu, your data section, uh, where you can select the mic, the data input, is uh, menu 70. Mine's set to rear for USB. Okay. Uh, if you go down to uh, sideband on 108, I believe it's 108. Let's see here. There we go. Sideband, mic select is mic. So uh, if you just. Uh, when you save a memory channel, just save the mode, either data, USB, um, or USB. And that will select your input, whether mic or USB. Okay, so that's, uh, that stumped me for a bit. There is a, uh, there is a menu that describes the boundaries of the... Um, the sideband data mode and uh, everybody talked in the online about 
adjusting that, but that didn't fix it. You have to actually open that up in that width screen. But um, if you look at data, let's see here. Um, data, low cut, frequency. I've got mine set for 100. 6 dB per octave slope. That's on 67. And 68 is the high cut frequency. I've got it set for 4,000. Uh, so that gives your boundaries um, for the data for the USB part. So it works really good with uh, the USB uh, cable. Simplifies things out here in the mobile, that's for sure. Um, set your serial rate. Uh, mine set to 38.4. Uh, that's also in the menu uh, down low in the, like, 15 or so. Let's find that real quick. All right, moving through the menu here. Um, sorry, I don't remember the number. We'll find it, though. The bus, the baud rate. Okay, 29 is a 232C rate. Right there. 38.4. It's got a match. 38.4. Okay. Uh, so you want USB 0 or COM 1, whatever, if it's Windows. Mine's Dev TTY USB 0. I'm using number 129 Yasu FT2000 for my rig configuration file. And let's see what else. PTT method, set it to CAT. And um, uh, so I've got my CWID after 7.3. That's always good. What else in here? I guess that's it. Um, my Linux version, I needed to change the uh, sample rate. So uh, you may not have that problem. But I created a, a little script called .a sound RC. I think that's what it's called, .a sound RC. You can find that online. It, it uh, makes the sample rate work properly with this version. I'm running Linux Mint. Uh, this is an experimental version of the beta 1.8, version 1.8.18. Works really good on my little uh, ebook here. Very happy with my 991. So um, when you save the, uh, the channel here for the digital stuff, I save it. Um, I'll show you here. I save it as data, upper sideband. And then for the regular channels that uh, you use the microphone for, you can save that as um, just USB. And again, you can select the mic on the USB section and, uh, and the uh, uh, USB port on the back of the radio for the data stuff. So, works good. Um, that's all I can think of at the moment. And uh, if you ever get a 991, I think you'll be happy with it. I'm really enjoying mobile from the, the, from the, uh, the Crown Victoria here. Uh, I've worked in Indonesia, Australia on a regular basis, uh, into Europe, South America, all across the U.S. I've got a UHV-6 antenna with a 40, a 20, and a 10 meter coil on top. It's just a lip mount on the trunk. I've got a couple of videos showing that. Uh, and my QRZ page has some photos as, as well. So, all right, thank you for watching. It is Friday night in California, July. Let's see, July 15th. Appreciate each and every one of you. 7 3. Uh, enjoy ham radio. A lot of fun. Take care now.